2018 Volkswagen Ardian First Drive. Never has there been a sexier Volkswagen, says Klaus Biskoff, VW's design director. Though here it's important to consider the gap between sexier and plain sexy. I'm not sure the new Ardian is anywhere near the latter. But even if you aren't in the market for a mid-sized, German four-door coupe, you might want to remember the way this car looks. Ardian represents the new push-up market for VW, no longer content to leave the luxury space to sister brand Audi. And unlike the Phaeton, this time around Volkswagen is making this shift through fashion, not sticker price. So note the Ardian's special design sauce in the way the grille segues into the headlamps, the multiple character lines up the hood which shoot up into the window graphic and the center line which runs around the car and holds the design together. We'll be seeing these cues again on other VWs. Wait a minute, though, what about the Passat CC, Comfort Coupe, launched in 2008, which in the intervening nine years has been through one facelift and chassis change, lost its Passat moniker and did decent business with a nod to stylish and sporting motoring. Erm, nothing much has changed. This is a CC replacement, with 5.2 inches added to its wheelbase to make a total of 111.9 and 2.4 inches to the overall length to make a total of 191.4. Front and rear overhangs are consequently lessened and the track is pulled out 1.4 inches at the front and 0.8 inches at the back. The trunk is a hulking 19.9 cubic feet and if you fold the seats down you'll get 55 cubic feet in there and loads up to 83 inches long. Based on the latest version of VW's transverse engine MQB chassis platform strategy, Ardian is designed around 20-inch wheels, curious, given that US market cars will come with 19-inch rims, which has in turn required new brakes dampers with adjustable valving and heavily revised suspension components. It was a lot of money, admits Elmer Marius Lickarts, head of VW's mid- and large car programs. He freely admits that such investment would not have been worth it solely for a relatively slow-selling coupe, and those costs will be amortized across global models such as a massive multi-purpose vehicle planned for China and a sedan to replace the Phaeton. Legarts might also be a man with one eye on Donald Trump's potential import tariff strategies here and their treatment of German-made imports. The cars we produce at our Chattanooga plant are for the mass market, he says, and the cars that come from Germany will need to push at the premium market.